In this video, we'll do the integral from 0 to x of the floor of t dt. This will be the integral from 0 to 1, plus the integral from 1 to 2, and so on, up until the integral from the floor of x minus 1 to the floor of x. And then we're going to have plus the integral from the floor of x to x. And all these inputs will have the floor of t dt. I'm just not going to rewrite it. This will be the sum from n. It goes from 0 to the floor of x minus 1 of the integral from n to n plus 1 of the floor of t dt plus the final one, which is this one, which is the floor of x to x of the floor of t dt. So in this case, if t is between n and n plus 1, this means that the floor of t is the smaller number, which is n. In this case, if t is between the floor of x and x, this means that the floor of t is just the floor of x. So this will be the sum from n goes from 0 to the floor of x minus 1, integral from n to n plus 1, and we just have n dt plus the integral from the floor of x to x of the floor of x dt. So this is a constant, so this n's a constant, so we can take it to the outside. And this will just give us the n points minus themselves. So n plus 1 minus n, which is 1. So this will be the sum. n goes from 0 to the floor of x minus 1 of n plus the integral. So again, this floor of x we can take to the outside. And this integral is just the n point, so it will be x minus the floor of x. So we get the floor of x times x minus the floor of x. And this, the sum goes from n equals 0 to floor of x minus 1. The 0 term can go away because if you plug in 0, you just get 0. And this, so the sum, as n goes from 1, the capital N of n is capital N times capital N plus 1 over 2. So we're going to plug that in for floor of x minus 1. So we're going to get the floor of x minus 1. Add 1, so that would be the floor of x. So that would just be the floor of x over 2 plus, so I'm going to write 2 times the floor of x times x minus the floor of x. And we can, we can put it all over 2. So I'm going to take the floor of x to the outside, so we get the floor of x over 2 times the quantity. Floor of x minus 1. So we have floor of x minus 1 plus 2 times x minus the floor of x. Combining things, you get the floor of x over 2. Floor of x plus minus 2 times the floor of x will be minus the floor of x. So this will just be, let's see, floor of x. So we have 2x and then minus 1. And that is the answer to this integral. And that's the end of the video.